Hello, I'm Dr. Ewan Sinjin Smith, and I'm a fellow in pharmacology at Corpus. Hi, I'm Jenny Zhang, and I'm a director of studies for chemistry in Corpus Christi College, Cambridge. Hi, my name is Joe Wilmot, and I'm the director of studies for classics, part one at Corpus. My name is Samuel Garrett Zeitlin. I am a college lecturer in politics and director of studies in human, social, and political sciences at Corpus Christi College, Cambridge. I'm Andrew Sanger, I'm a member of the college and I teach and research international law and human rights law. My name is Sarah Bondik and I am a Director of Studies at Corpus Christi College as well as a graduate tutor. So in thinking about which university to apply to, uh, Cambridge has lots of strong points. It's obviously a world-leading research university, so it's got amazing facilities. But I think from the teaching point of view, the thing that sets Cambridge apart from many universities is the emphasis on small group teaching. You have your lectures, you have practicals, seminars, but often you'll be spending two or three hours each week in a small group, perhaps just you and one or two other students, and an academic in that subject, going through the lecture material, extending you and preparing you for the exams. And this is really a great opportunity to have perhaps someone who's a leading researcher in that area talking you through problems, giving you opportunity to expand your knowledge. And indeed, within Corpus, you've got a lot of fellows that are really high flyers in their different fields. And these are people you're not just going to be taught by, but also might be able to arrange lab experience or a rotation on the wards with. In times like today, where we are facing pandemics and climate change, we really need scientists more than ever. And scientists that can bridge several topics are those that can uh, make the most difference and they're uh, basically at the forefront of these efforts. So modern chemists or modern scientists, um, they need to be very collaborative and have a broad breadth of knowledge so that they can make use of as many tools as possible uh, to solve challenging questions and problems. So this is why a degree that offers that opportunity to explore different topics and get a good basics in several different topics um, is one that would produce scientists that would add the most value to, to the world later on. And so if you do chemistry um, with Cambridge, what it means is that you can also uh, enjoy some other topics like physics, material science, earth sciences, um, biological sciences. I would warmly encourage you to think about applying to Corpus to study classics at Cambridge. The course at Cambridge is fantastic. The breadth um, is something very special. The fact that you can study philosophy, history, linguistics and archaeology in addition to the literature and the two languages mean that it's a course unlike any other. Um, and there's also the final year to mention. There's four elements that you get to pick yourselves so you can design your own final year that matches your own interests. Corpus has particular strengths in the study of the history of empire, um, in the intellectual history, both the history of medicine, uh, but also the history of political ideas, the history of political philosophy, um, and the history of economics. At Corpus, we have a close, diverse, and dynamic community, not just of law students, but also of researchers and alumni. And we're incredibly lucky that we have an active alumni that are closely connected with the college. A large number of them come back every year and actively support our students. I was fortunate to study natural sciences in Cambridge when I was an undergraduate, specialising in physics. I really enjoyed the opportunity to study a wide range of topics as I began my undergraduate studies, and that really broadened my horizons and made me consider applying physics to medicine for the first time. Without that exposure, I certainly wouldn't have taken the path that I have to where I am today. Another bonus of Corpus is that we're small. And this means everyone gets to know each other. The fellows really get to know the students, not just through teaching, but through social events. So in biology, we have a barbecue, we have a subject dinner, and we also have a quiz each year. On top of that, for the medics, there's similar events, including the Lewis Society for Medicine Annual Dinner, where alumni come back. And it's a real networking opportunity to try and work out what you might want to do for the future of your career. A further bonus of Corpus, in particular for science students, is our central location. Uh, it's quite close to the lecture theatres, which means you don't have to get up too early before your 9am lectures. Corpus Christi is a small college, which means that it has much more of a community feel. Uh, for me, as a director of studies, it means that I get to invest a lot more time in each student to ensure that they're on the right path to success. Corpus is a special place. You'll be able to tell that even just from photos, um, although obviously in the flesh it's even more obvious. Um, the grounds are beautiful um, and really do help um, in terms of creating the right environment for studying. 
um, the size of the college is such that there's a real community uh, of people that you'll get to know um, that can support you both within the subject um, but also um, over the range of other subjects too. We have a small college um, compared to the size of other colleges, but that makes Corpus in particular a very personable collegial um, and wonderful place to study. Um, it's a beautiful college, the food is good, um, and the people tend to be very nice. And also the teachers care about teaching and they care about um, academic excellence. Corpus is an incredibly welcoming college. It has an outstanding tutorial and welfare system, and it's committed to the idea that everybody deserves the best possible education. It's in the centre of town and it's an old college, but it also has a thoroughly modern outlook. I think Corpus provides an excellent environment for studying natural sciences. As a small college, we have a very close community. As a Corpus physicist, you'll have the chance to engage with a really enthusiastic group of undergraduates, postgraduates and fellows. We regularly have social events, some of which include just having some food, uh, having dinner together or summer barbecues but some of them also involve solving really interesting physics estimation problems and doing try this at home experiments. Lastly, I think something to think about before applying and then when you perhaps apply and come to interview is what you can do to expand your knowledge beyond A-levels. There are things you could read such as The Incredible Unlikeliness of Being by Alice Roberts or A Brief History of Everyone Who Ever Lived by Adam Rutherford. Perhaps those of you who are more medically inclined, the books by people such as Henry Marsh or Adam Kay would be great just to look at what life as a doctor is really about. Then there's also other opportunities to think about, perhaps going to science festivals, listening to online lectures or podcasts such as that by the Naked Scientists. Um, good luck with your applications. So if you are interested in applying to do chemistry in Cambridge, I can recommend a few things you can read or watch. So there is a book called Why Chemical Reactions Happen, and that's been written by James Keeler and Peter Weathers, the um, first year lecturers in the department, and they um, make um, amazing videos as well. So you can watch some of those videos on YouTube. So um, that book and, and some videos, that, those would already be really good starts. Supercurricular reading or extracurricular reading for um, preparing for interview. My only advice would be to read broadly across literature, philosophy, and the humanities, um, whether in the works of Shakespeare, Plato, um, if one can, Plato's Republic, um, Hobbes' Leviathan, are particularly good things to read. Um, but there's no one particular text that one should read. The law is current and it reflects what's going on in the world right now. So the best advice is just to read the news, engage with it, and think critically about what you have read. Ask yourself, is the law involved in why? What result is it achieving? Who ultimately wins and loses? And do you think the law should be changed? Before applying to study physics at university, I would definitely advise students to take advantage of the resources available online, particularly through the Isaac Physics Programme. 